I'm gonna pick some. I have some list actually from here. This is the third. Okay, I'm gonna go from the bottom to the top. So the first one is Kim. Mm -hmm. She's focusing on business and leadership and highly sensitive persons. That's me. <laughs> and <laughs> okay so uh let's open the kim's profile okay she is a lot so she's writing about herself okay very good very good very good so okay so now if i'm opening book reading it's loading that's not good takes time so once the website is loading, especially more pages, this means something is wrong, wrong technically from the from the website itself. Good. So, Kim, if you're watching this one, you have to change this page straight away, and maybe Vicky can add this to me as well. Just you no, know, Vicky, please add something as well. Your, your things, but I think there's a message missing. Because the point is, you're saying book reading, and this page you say people can find by Google or to come to your profile from newsletters, and they click book reading. This is you now um, you have to tell it some headline and then maybe description, and say okay, in if I'm book reading, fill the form, you know, and then follow the next steps. So. This is not going to convert very well. We can people drop. And in general, yeah, if you're promoting this page, let me just see your homepage. Okay, the homepage is good. Okay, um, change 2024, please. The copyrights. Um, okay, so first of all, you're using body graph chart, and you, uh, I think, what's happening if you download? Okay, this is okay. So the so this is important, Kim. You just give the download button, but you, you just grab something in exchange, at least email. So ask for email, ask for name and email. Uh, if you give something, to load something valuable. And this is five steps on uncovering your core values. That's maybe, I guess, it's a very great lead magnet, which is, you know, ideally how you can do this one using even uh, human design chart. Even this form, this activate email address, ask people to fill them, and then you can give this, to, sorry. Then you can give this to download PDF. Okay. Give something in exchange. Then give something for because you cannot track. That's the point. It's not a I mean, that's the most important part. You have to know how many people click on this download, how many people are downloading. And uh, so the website is good. Number one, what you need to do. Yes, yes, Vicky. Yes, Vicky, go ahead. The other thing that I would do is change the languaging around that lead magnet a little bit because what matters most five steps to uncover your core values why why does somebody want want that like they we need to address not only what it is but who who is it for yeah yeah yes i mean so they want to put in their email address to get it yes that's correct that's a good point i haven't i haven't checked the copy or copy that's a correct correct i mean uh use chat gpt this, let's do some experiment. I mean, I want to go, yeah, I want to give, oh my gosh, I'm enjoying already. Give me a second. You said chat GPT and I wanted to go. <laughs> now I have some, uh, okay, uh, let me see something. What matters? I want to just copy this copy and say, make a good more start. engagement. engagement. Yeah. More, more engaged or something. Engaging, and there's yeah. GPT gives like example, Unlock your potential, discover your core values, whatever. I know I'm just brainstorming. Please use some maybe ChatGPT or just use your own stuff, uh, which is better. But like we can set exactly um, what is the benefits. 
maybe steps or something. Benefits, yeah. Like, and use the words so that, so that, so they're going to get this, so that something changes in yeah. their life. Yeah, but please grab some email at least. You have human design chart and you're not, you are not monetizing. You're not using the right purpose. Put that form, put this uh, form, give me a second, let me open. Put this form somewhere here. And tell them, uh, I, I'm very bad on copywriting, but something like, you know, um, core, core values or something to do something or to get some benefits. And then people can enter and find some, <laughs> maybe some chart. You even can hide the chart. You don't have to show the chart if you don't want, but you will have a name, you will have the email address, and then you can monetize them and then create some sales. Life coaching is very quick. Life coaching as well. You have to uh, let's do some call to action. Um, okay, so in okay, that's good. This is the service page. In the service page, I don't want to say about maybe. Okay, again, this is my own opinion. And there's two different call to actions: contact and about. I will go every single page, just get some leads. Every mm -hmm. single page. If I will be Kim, I will say like, hey. Get this PDF or generate this chart, find out your some values, find out about your, you know, get some report or something and exchange with the data in every single page, very big visible form. I and still that's what I would be care of mostly. That's it. So can I ask a question for everybody? Yes. yes. Is it okay to have a different lead magnet on every page on your website? If you want to track something if you want to track how many people are interested in coaching because of the different services yeah, maybe mentoring coaching okay uh that's a good question actually yes that's a good question my answer is yes it depends on the service and because you want to track of course maybe do some a b testing which is lead magnet is converting better uh but but yes you, you can have this one you can experiment some of them say oh no just have one lead magnet this is not true because if you are offering mentoring and you're offering like life coaching, this maybe different services and they have like, you know, how to find the right mentor for me, this lead man, you know, life coaching, you know, how to become the best yourself or something. So I have but, another question. Yeah. Just because you said AB testing and some people might not know what that is, but I think that all of the best companies do actually test things against each other because you, are supposed to look at your analytics, right? You're supposed to look at what's bringing in the most traffic. That's a very good question. Sadly, I don't want to share my screen with my analytics uh, because it's going to be public on YouTube. But uh, let's see if share mine if you want. You've got mine. No, 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 give me a second. Yeah, that's that's. I'm very I'm super uh, sensitive in, in in data. So uh, let me just see. Okay. It, if Kim has some analytics, if she's using, uh, so I'm just checking some. This is web developers tool where you can open and then see. Let me see. Just yeah, uh, I think she's using analytics. Yeah, so that's good. Well done. Uh, so this means Kim. Yeah, that's a very good point. Please track your Google Analytics. Please track the, how the page is performing. You know what the visits are, uh, uh, how many visits per page you have, and let's say you know, speci especially in service pages, so you can convert them or just invest them a little bit more time to to get to, to make better. And as example, we spoke about. Can I we can mention your website? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're starting now tracking Vicky's website, and uh, that's very was interesting. The people going going to in blog articles, and the numbers are actually almost equals, almost same average. But how we monetize every single blog article, how Vicky is starting to monetize, and every single blog article just to introduce some subscribe newsletter, you know, to get something more, to get some value or some lead magnet. And once you're reading the article, you just you know scrolling down and just pop up some email uh, to ask for to enter email. 
and we put that on the website on Monday night, I think, and this is Wednesday when we're recording this, and it's converting at about 25%. So that's good. Yeah. There was nobody before being converted because I wasn't using a pop-up. Yeah, I have a go to the Vicus uh, uh, website, and uh, if I go as an example, to block, because this is how we, we just find some analytics that people coming to most of the websites from the articles. And uh, let's say if I put something. Now the lead magnet is going to change because I built a report in body graph the other day, in body graph chart the other night. Yeah. But I'm waiting for my VA to make it pretty. That's, so it's that's gonna amazing. Change. That's yeah. a good, that's well done. That's it, well done. I'm telling you straight away, that's well done. That's awesome. I like this one. That's a great example. And it was that's easy. In my email provider to do that so thank you yeah. for helping websites yeah if you yeah that's it that's a, that's i'm telling you that's a good never show pop up for no reason because people some, sometimes putting on the home page pop up for no reason and that's just annoying but then you're starting reading and how did i set up the setup like we can set up and that convert kids especially that 30 50 percent 90 percent of schooling the pop-up appears that's good i like it i love it okay let's move on uh, Laura, let's see if we have so Laura. Okay, let's see. So to Laura's website. Okay. So can I something? Yes. yes. Even though you haven't started yet, but when you look at that first glance at that website, what are you looking for? If you like the first impression that you get, what does your technical brain say? Yeah, first of all, I need to always switch to um, kind of user's brain. If yes. I'm checking technical, then it's not going to be fair. Right. Uh, I'm always trying to, to be the shit like who, who no, yeah, as kind of user. So, um, human design, you doing best. Okay, so this develops an opening. Laura's, okay, so this Laura's profile. And I click the book reading. Okay. Which is nice. Okay. And just open this website. And just my advice if you want to just maybe have to change URL, you don't have to open the home page. Ideally, you have to open where I can book the reading page. If you don't have, please create a simple basic page and then it just says headline and title, uh, headline and description and says, okay. To do some book reading contact or even email me or something I, if you didn't have something simple but uh, that convert even much better because based on my expectations i could book a reading or even if you're offering something else get some free report you just you can change the label ask support mm. as a victoria and you can choose this and say you can change it but this means that click has to open by based on my expectation that's important of course, what's happening to my brain now, which is not what I had expected, totally not, I'm going to go and switch off this website a couple of seconds. I mean, that's that's the reality. So in general, the website, um, okay, so let's, this is one comment to Laura. You have to make focus that page that you want to open to met expectations for them clicking. Second thing, um, I mean, okay, um, maybe need some help from Vicky, but I'm not. I'm very bad on copywriting. But every single page has to sell something. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I've I'm, just... I'm not sure this headline. Was, sorry, to, because you. So to sell means what you're serving, how you're serving, and what you what value can give me. That's mm -hmm. I think this most important homepage message. That is okay, I mean, but this is not like for the first time I want to see. If you serve some specific audience and give some specific service, the shoe reflects straight away. And they just say, click and go ahead. Sorry, we can. Yeah, so in copywriting, we would want to be, and it's not that we want to be looking at the negatives, but people will do more to move away from pain than they will to find pleasure. So when we look at things like, and I'm not picking on you, I'm just. Um, yes, 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 yes. 
<laughs> um, when we look at things so you can reach your potential, delight in your life and have endless empathy and understanding for those around you. Okay, that sounds lovely. But what I really want to know is how is my life going to change because I take this action on your website? What is going on in my everyday life, in my everyday language that I am struggling with that you are going to help me fix? Mm. That's what I think that you want to, that's not, not what I think. That's what you want to be saying is how mm. you're actually going to make that person's life better. What she's struggling, she or he, I'm, the, your site looks very feminine, so I'm going to say she. What she's um, dealing with now that is going to be different after she works with you, after she gets your human design mm. information, whatever. Yeah, I like that's what you're saying, actually. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. But this, yeah. Okay, if you click chat. Okay. Pretty. Yeah, it's a very good website. Yeah, so, okay, so I'm in the chat. Okay. Yeah, I like your comment. I just saying, yes. Uh, I do like your tip to get us from the last time we did this, where you talked about having a video on our human design chart pages. And I haven't done that on mine yet, but I think it could be very beneficial when someone is going to run the chart where we actually tell them what that means mm. because mm. people have no context for it. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very good advice. Uh, and I just want to, again, say that why we're doing this one, just we trying to help to convert the visitor to something to lead so on, you know, to something valuable to you. So yeah, that video would be help. Mm -hmm. Video. So I'm just, uh, okay, you get me email address. Yeah, that's, that's good if you got email address. I'm just thinking that's a good one because you can monetize. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. Maybe just one, the biggest, I mean, my important highlight is it, you just ask maybe to change because this, you know, yeah, think what you want, what you want to exactly get from this profile page. So of course now we're investing in SEO companies and then uh, this your profile will be visible and uh, you have to now understand uh, what you want to try to achieve and if I click book readings, this should be reflected as one. Well. The website. That makes sense. Now I want to check mine. <laughs> uh, Not on this call. I'll I'll just check it after. Yes, of course. Uh, okay, new new call. Okay. Very nice pictures. Pictures is I like the people investing in the pictures. I like it very much. Okay, it's very good, very good. I just just scanning a little bit of content. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Mm. That totally makes sense. That's what actually how I expected. Really. Really. That's how I expected. Of course, in my ideal world, I would like to have maybe pictures, uh, maybe Nicole's picture here. Maybe I saw something amazing today. Um, do you know this like Calendly? Uh, do you know Calendly? Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, the Calendly sometimes offers a little avatar profile picture in the circle, and there's a calendar coming up. So one company, is have a case exactly same as Calendly, but they just they make that little circle talking. So actually, you can record the video, and wow. then you know you're speaking and say something. Hi, hello. That's just, just book someone boarding session. Book something. You know, like that's so personal. Yeah. So that's the reason I'm saying. Yeah, and that's you really want to book. You know, and then I just realized why from user experience and emotional experience, the, why they do. And that's why, like, that's why I really enjoy doing this research. So that's completely personal, especially in the booking stuff, because booking, this is a personal reading, you know, and if you can say something, a small video, that can convert very well. I guarantee, guarantee, I can guarantee that. Especially in the booking pages, 
small video will be helpful. That's very nice, very good. I like it. Let's see the website. Oh, it's a redirection. Oh, I've been to this booking system, not the website. But good one. I like it. So, how much time we have? Okay, uh, Adele. Okay. Nice. Adele. So let's see what this Adele has. So, uh, okay, so book a reading. And when I click on book a reading, it's opening service page. So uh, one more thing, I want to share something. That's a very good trick when you're putting some content in the short, how to say in English, uh, short diff to read. Uh, let me just ex explain you something. I try to explain. Uh, so, so just don't don't worry. Uh, then I'm not looking at the website. It's just tool. So when people are writing the content for a full page, okay, like this, it's very hard to read. Again, this is like based on the search. When you, but when you're doing in the short things, they very easy to read them. Just I'm saying. Okay, this looks like uh, they're using your business website or body graph chart. But okay, this is services I see. Okay. Mm hmm a list of the readings something is but it's something is maybe we'll put some video to explain it says welcome scroll below to choose your uh, option so hard okay there's an intro reading Coaching session, foundation reading. Which one? Which one? I'm just thinking very loud. Which one I should pick now? Uh, so I worked with a client today who actually had exactly this kind of thing on her website, and she's going to do a video on the page a little bit higher up that's going to explain the journey. So first, it's a body a body graph chart report that she has created, mm -hmm. and she does all of her coaching based on that. So they need that first. So she's walking them through. Okay, first you need your human design chart. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to want to grab this book, uh, join my community, and when you're ready for a reading, do this. So she's explaining what each thing is. But I think that that, and I also think in in human design circles, we think that everybody knows what all those things mean but they don't know the difference between a foundation or an intro or an event. Like they have no, no context for it. That's so again, good. if we're bringing it back to their life, what is going to change in their life? If they have, who is this intro reading for? Like you've never heard of human design before. Start here. You've had a human design reading, but you still want more. This is your step. Like you have to tell people who it's for. Make it that so good. Of course, I don't understand human design. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be like, no, that kind of mind. Uh, because, yeah, that's a good one. That's a very good comment. I just let's a little bit some kind of experiment uh, at the referee website. If I will be you, put some video, and I do some content so I can see straight away services. Maybe mm -hmm. change as we can mention some headlines like a benefit one, benefit two, benefit three, benefit four. Something like something in these lines. Um, I would say maybe that makes sense. Uh, again, she's got it there. Who's it for? Yeah. I like that idea, but it's just Albert user interface is broken, but I like that idea very much. Um, I love the intro price. That's smart. Uh, I like this idea. I like everything. Something. Sorry, I'm just. I think it needs real pictures, but I know that I saw that you are a fifth line profile. So, but you also have beautiful branding photos. So um, I don't know if. What do you think is the profile? Sometimes fifth line profiles don't really want to be 
out there and be seen. So that could be something that why she's not showing her. But here, these are beautiful branding photos. Yeah, I agree with that. They're just, when, you know, even on the homepage, it's like we see so much of her personality agree. on the craft site, but not on her own site. That's, that's, I agree. So I would say I will, I will not book a personal, some, some reading with some this mattress. <laughs> I want to see some people. <laughs> Uh, that, that's true. No, no, that's really true. That's really true. I mean, I like how you put this one. I'm, I like that idea that, you know, just maybe, maybe, I'm, I'm, again, I'm, I'm not so say that you should have to do, maybe just get, remove this iframe and just put some yellow button or something, just outstanding button because it's much more comfortable to book once they're opening the full calendar, mm -hmm. you know, because they can uh, find my time. And in this way, it's very, very hard to navigate, you know, especially in mobile. So I, if I will be you, and then I maybe remove this thing, put this maybe in yellow, that button, let me just experiment very quick. So I, once again, I'm playing with this development tool, so I'm not broken your website, I'm just, uh, can I say kind of, something? Yes, of course, that? of course. Um, so the other thing that I noticed was that there's only two days open for these intro readings. So I would be putting great big letters somewhere that say almost sold out or only X number of openings left. If there's only two possible days for someone to book, I would be pushing those like crazy. And that's, that. that's, please, that, 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 take this advice. This is sales. Please take advice. So again, I'm not saying that you have to use this button, but mm. just to give to show you the contrast, the tell you doing put a nice picture and give some contrast with the button. And of course, maybe black letters or something. And then when they click, they go to the calendar. But that's actually yeah. Yeah, always and today we're saying use some urgency. That's it. I like it. Let's grab one more, okay? And then you can wrap up. Stephanie. Okay. Free clarity call. I like that part of action. I just want to click that one. So good. <laughs> Uh, let me pinpoint your next big move. We we'll met to clarify your vision and goals. Wow, that's a good one. That's a very good one. Most of people don't know their goals. Mm. And explore how you can accelerate your impact with brand storytelling. That's very unique. I'm very happy for you, Stephanie. Let me tell you why. You're mixing human design and brand. I saw I saw something mixed up Feng Shui that that's the gold mine for keywords in search. Yeah. Okay. That's a very good I, I I can feel that. I also love who how she has so clearly defined her customer for shy and mighty difference makers. So I know that if I'm shy, I'm going to be safe with her. That's yeah, that's very, very that's I like it as well. I like this very much. The one thing that I would do though is I would change that to first person. Sorry, oh, you mean the content, yeah? I help uh, coaches and leaders about uh, promoting themselves to weave their human design, like promote yourself to weave your human design and personal story. Just to oh, just yes. like yeah, you're yeah, speaking yeah, yeah. to one. I, I agree. Yeah, yeah. That's good. I'm not English speaker, but I, yeah, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, I agree. That's very spacious website. I'm a big fan mm -hmm. of space. Uh, I like that as a calendar. And but you directed to the home to this oh this service page. Oh I haven't seen Stephanie your service. So you see what happened? I click that button, I open your home page. And I haven't scrolled down. I just click the click up clarity call. But you're offering something here interesting. Okay, first of all, look, I'm from business perspective. 
I I love the prices. Sorry, I'm just I want to I want to say what the, what I'm thinking. Because, because I want to oh, yes. Because why do you love the prices? Um, because I there's a value with providing value, and she is not afraid to give that. Just his valuation. Mm -hmm. And is you know is let me explain in my perfect English. It's better to serve ten people who can be happy to pay five hundred than five hundred people who are happy to pay five bucks, you know. Yeah. You know, and I'm guaranteed there has a people they happy to pay this price. Yeah. And I mean I'm just saying that uh I love. I love how you describe the services. Seriously, that's that's amazing. And I know, yeah. I, I like everything. I just haven't seen. Sorry, I just haven't seen that. I have to scroll down. Maybe uh, put some button on some animated arrow. Maybe that I have to scroll down. Yes, yes, we can. Sorry, interrupt. Uh, it was just about the pricing. That we have this perceived thing when things are more expensive that they're better. So when we're, our prices are too cheap, people automatically will dismiss it and say like it, it can't be very good. Whereas certain people, and if yeah. it's a high, decent price, like a, a fair price, then you think it's better because it's more expensive. Yeah, but when the high, which is important, super super important, understand, you have to have good website, clean, working mm -hmm. without any errors, without any misspellings, so you can put the price. If you're mm. putting something like you no, know, blah blah blah, and then just like put your price, and oh you know, that's actually space big role as well. Uh,